did some work on the water containment system over the weekend and was able to use some additional uh, parts to seal the top of this PVC bubbler. No more screw tops. I'm going to use this compression fitting which works real good. Seals the top of this piece of pipe and there's no need to have uh, any more leakage on the threads. Inside the bubbler I've put some steel wool. What that will do is uh, help prevent any moisture from going into the steam trap which I've attached on the side here. The gas will come around through here, enter on the bottom and come out through this exit here and head towards the engine. The bubbler will get gas from the cell through this point. It will be forced down into the water and then the uh, gas will come up and exit here. I've done a pressure test on it. It holds probably close to 40 pounds of pressure so I'm not going to worry about any problems with that. Um, I do think I'm going to add a flashback protection on here. I'm not too sure exactly where it's going to go. It might fit somewhere out in the front or towards the back. But I would like to have something there in case uh, of a flashback. I don't anticipate any flashback in this unit because it's going to be pretty sealed. and It will be um, almost a vacuum. So I shouldn't have any problem. And this top also is very easy to take off. It seals extremely well. And it's great for cleaning this unit which is separate from the main unit. I attached it with a uh, clamp. So it works real well. I think when the water comes in with the gas to this point and then is forced through the bubbler out through here we'll have clean gas. Also the water will be circulating out of this end into the filtration system. So that's about it. See how it works when I get the cell finished.